Good morning, everyone. It is like 6.25. I just sat down for a couple minutes while my tea is steeping. I have to go up and wake up Sebastian at 6.30, but... What's up, Piggy? Come here. Hi. Hi. I just thought I'd take a morning since I had a minute. He's buying lunch because it's hot dog and pizza day. So I don't need to pack his lunch. Oh, I'm tired. My period has been going on for a full week now. <laughs> just, it's just sucking the life out of me. And that's not a good thing because now both Danny and Jax are sick. Oh, oh excuse my stomach. <laughs> And Sebastian is always a wild card. He could have it, he could not, I don't know. He always just will randomly sneeze a million times or blow his nose, so. To be determined, but I was like, I should just take it easy and take a nap today and just give my body a lot of rest, but there is work coming in that today it'll be for the doggy rescue. <laughs> Looks like, gotta make a summer camp page and I think there's spaghetti, Spaghetti dinner, not the chili bingo. Is it a, just a spaghetti fundraiser or is it a spaghetti bingo? I don't remember. Got some things coming in. She's up bright and early. And yeah, I need to go out to Leesburg because it's Friday and so far Sebastian's had all his stars on his star sheets. So he wanted a poster for my stomach is curling so much. I don't really feel that hungry yet, but apparently I am. <sighs> I don't know if Jax got his project in by 11.59 last night. I did get an automated email from his school system saying it's overdue, so probably not. When I checked in on him at 10.30, he said he had about 20 minutes more to read, then he's just going to answer the question. But then a little later when I messaged him, he said there was something that I would need to print out for him so he could hand it in. So I don't know. He's a maybe for staying home because he feels really rotten, but he'd miss a Spanish test. He'd miss finishing his algebra test that they started the day before yesterday. I don't know. They do every other day schedules. And he obviously wouldn't be able to go to his English teacher and turn that in. He doesn't have English till now, today though. They have a three day weekend. So whether he goes or not, he has a long weekend to relax and recover. But we also might have snow on Tuesday. I'm hoping for snow guaranteed on Tuesday starting at noon because my appointment's at 10 a.m. Then we wouldn't have school because they'd be like, we know it's coming, let's close. And I would still get to go to my appointment. <laughs> Can we just order that up? Anyway, looks like it is time for me to go wake him up. So my little sit down is done. Sorry, puppy, but we'll feed you too. <sighs> Onward with the day. Danny is COVID positive and gonna be sleeping here. Sebastian and I, COVID negative so far. So far being the keyword. I mean, I've been in a mask a lot, but I have to sit next to him while we eat. And lay next to Danny 
while we sleep, though the whole time he's been sick, I've been hunched over in the, on the edge, and last night I wore a mask. I need to wash all the sheets, so I'll see you later. Hello. I never did my hair today. It's been a day. I've had so much work come in and I had to email her. I was like, uh, everything is flipped upside down right now. So we'll get to it as we get to it. It's not all just instantly do like when I have beer labels that have to get to the printer. But Sebastian is testing negative and Jax came home fully in his cold that was starting last night and he tested negative to Danny's shock. I was, I don't know, I'm kind of numb and I'm of the opinion it started from the event that Dan went to, not from Jax. Dan thinks it's from Jax. So I was like, it could be a cold, it could be COVID, who knows? And it still could be. We're gonna have to retest. I just ordered some groceries to be delivered and then a whole bunch of tests. And then I was able to place two orders for free tests. So, oh, I never told Jax his results. So I'm gonna go do that and try not to freak the fuck out. Like literally just got out, so very steamy. It was shorter than normal because it was so hot. But it might look like I'm in the same place as I sometimes film. And location-wise I am, but I brought my cozy baby room glider and put it back in this room. It had gone into Sebastian's nursery when we moved him out of our room and into the adjoining room. I don't know how old he was. Maybe four, so four or five. And then I would sit in this chair and just like keep him company while he fell asleep. He needed to prove to us that he could get used to being in his own room so he could have his own big boy room and that's when we converted the second guest room for him so basically this was in Jax's nursery and then it came into here while I was like in between pregnancies not for a while though because Jax was kind of not ready for a long time to even try the nursery so I ended up putting like a toddler bed over there so there's no room for any chairs in here but yeah once he was off in his own room it was in here for me to be cozy in and it was wonderful while I was pregnant 
again. But then, yeah, I went back into the nursery and it's just been there. And I've had like a rocking chair here. Actually, for a while, yeah, when it was Sebastian's nursery, that rocking chair was in there. I painted it specifically for that room and sewed cushions for it. And then when we converted it to a big boy room, I put this one in. So yeah, it's been back and forth and back and forth. And I thought if we have to be separate when we're not masked, it might be nice to have this chair here. Because this is my room right now. He will be using the bathroom. So I need to be extra careful about touching the toilet. I brought some spray up. But we've made it this far. I don't know. I don't have high hopes for myself. Anyway, I'm gonna wrap this up. I don't know why I just talked for two minutes about chairs. Just trying to get my mind off of things, but wish me luck. It's if the kids start testing positive, then it's just all downhill from there, especially Sebastian. <sighs> but we'll see how it goes. He's been really good about putting a, a mask on, so proud of him. He did not like getting tested. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna sit here for a little longer, enjoy the sound of the rain outside and just try to de-stress some more before I have to do bedtime and be all masked up again. <sighs> yeah, good night friends. So this was not the video I wanted to make today, but it is what it is. Stay safe, be kind, and don't forget, wash your hands, for real.